Hey guys, welcome back to another stream. And well, the screen is coming on soon. This is Antopia. Yeah, let me put the mic closer. This is Antopia HK signing in um, as Doriline Studios. And on well, I'll just give you guys a quick intro. So on this channel, we'll just be uploading our progress and game de game game development game development. Uh, progress and all that we'll have an introduction video on our uh, game company soon so yeah so right now uh, let's open okay, so a few things are messed up for some reason going to move the the oh, the content browsers here for some reason Oh no, wait. Move it onto the, the thing. Can I? How do I? Okay, I'll close it. And then. Where's Content Browser? <laughs> okay, this, this problem's never happened before. Oh, it's here. Content Browser. There we go. Okay, so we're all set up. So, okay, so now let's open the beta map, uh, for now I just made this simple uh, map right here, and then Okay, so yeah, so what? Why this uh, big human is here? Because uh, we we're just measuring the scale, and so far we've measured it that everything has to be three hundred and thirty times its original scale, uh, because the ant is uh, enlarged by quite a bit. So uh, yeah, th this is pretty much to scale. So three hundred, two hundred and thirty times. So let's just delete that because it's in the way. Okay, so um. I'll show you guys quickly what we have with the um, the AI because I think I'll be focusing on the AI mostly. So it's lagging. Okay, so here's the AI. If yeah, okay. So if supposedly if you're near it or if you're in its range of sight, then it will uh, go to you. Okay, it's lagging a lot. So yeah, if you if you're in its range of sight, it goes to you, but. Uh, yeah, and then if it's not in your range of, range of sight, it just wanders around the map. But uh, after we have like other stuff in the map, we're going to make it that. It uh, it does, you know, like the usual ant things, like in a cycle. So, let's set that up. So let's open the last Snyder character. Alright guys, hold up a few seconds. Okay, yeah, so if you guys hear any background noise, it's either the aircon or the fan running, so yeah, okay, so uh here yeah you can see we have a few uh different blue uh codes. So here, this one just the E Apple. Uh, that one's not working yet. Uh, here we have some uh, just buttons that activate or like add or decrease to the health bars, which you should be able to see when we play it again. And then here we have the movement uh, WASD and then the mouse. Uh, and then the death de death pu function, uh, so that it updates every tick. And then once the health reaches zero. Uh, it destroys the actor and then shows the end screen, but I believe oh So we do have an end screen, so I'll show you guys quickly So if I just press E loads of times, I'll wait until that thing gets out of the way Yeah, in the top left you can see the health bar if it goes all the way to zero It just says you're dead 
we're obviously the graphics are pretty much zero percent done but um yeah so we can do back to nest main menu main menu bleed takes you to the main menu back to nest is going to take you to back to your nest which you set the spawn point and then if you click main menu what's supposed to happen is it takes you to the main menu So since that's not set up, we're going to set it up right now. And it, that's pretty simple. You just click on the button. You go to on clicked. Let's drag it down a bit. And then all we need to do is open level. And then the level name is main. Oh, no, wait a second. Okay, so there's quite, there's some problem since the, uh, Okay, I'm gonna have to try to figure this out. So, okay, so if we press play, I did this with another blueprint, but I th think I forgot. So if I press tab, you can see this. It returns to menu. And once I press return to menu, it takes you to this. So what I'm gonna figure out is what codes I used for that. So let's uh, search mini men mini menu. Okay, so okay, I'm back here. So the function. Okay, so we want to get the function. Uh, the okay, so this is the main menu. We want to get the the main menu button, which is this one. It's it's blocked by some other things. So then let's see the blueprint. Uh, so it just opens. Okay, so there is a level that we made called main menu, I believe. Here, let me check the typing because it is key for key. You uh, when you do this, so it's okay. So not yet. I There you, there you go. Sorry, guys. My microphone was muted. I forgot. <laughs> um, so here's the link for our Discord chat. Uh, you guys can be a supporter on there. So. Right, there you go. Sorry, guys. I've been talking the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so let's go back to the Unreal Editor. Oh, okay, so the problem, okay, so there's quite a problem. There's a mini problem with the main menu, main menu widget. This game doo doo. Okay, Steve. 
Okay, so let's go in the main menu widget. We need to set it that the start game button opens the the actual map, which is called a uh, beta map. There we go. There we go. Now it should be now it should be fine. We have only just begun, by the way, that's a bin level, it's automatically loaded when you start. Uh, yes, that is the, it's a default level that, uh, that comes included, but I actually did set it to that, uh, to that level in the main menu. But since I changed the level to this map, yeah, so it's lagging a lot, and it's hard to see pretty much everything. So, for now, I'm going to move the camera up a l little bit so it's third person for now our game is planning to be third person uh, first person but then like when you're in the nest you can get a, uh, a side view yeah so you can see the ant he comes towards us but then supposedly if we get out of this view okay so oh, it's already working so once you get out of his, his view he just wanders around which is perfectly fine for now I can close these Okay, so this is the end screen. It has the main menu and the mini menu. Uh, make sure you guys like and uh, subscribe if you're not, because we'll we'll be doing live stream pretty much uh, every day of the week. Well, I will at least because well, they're just gonna be short streams. But um, yeah, we're, I'm gonna live stream whenever I work on the game, so you guys can get updates whenever you guys want. Yeah, so uh, Jonas is right, or the Nance is right, because we haven't done any of the like the design, the graphics, because well, we want to do the functions first, because like, if there's something we can't do, but we've made a graphics for it, there's no point. Yeah, so I can oh, it's because I have Discord open. Okay, I'll close Discord for a second. Okay, there we go. So yeah, that's much better. Um, let's fix okay, for the end screen. We have two buttons so far. The return to nest or back to nest, and then main menu. So I, what uh, we are gonna do is that when you press back to nest or when you die, um, it there's gonna be like a, a bot determining whether you uh, like sacrifice for your colony or if you just like died with some for some dumb reason. Uh, so yeah, whether you do it uh, like as a sacrifice, for example, then you're going to get like XP points and then you're going to be uh, respawn back in the nest as an egg but then you'll be able to rank up like really fast so that uh, you don't have to go through all the process yeah well once school starts it's gonna be hard okay so uh, let's try to what else can we do for now? Let's see what else we can do. Um, yes, yeah, so I can show you guys quickly the the drop down menu. So it's open the the main menu level. So it's blank because uh, we haven't added an image yet. So uh, once we get the graphics done, we're gonna add have like a a, rep a looped animation in the background of like some uh, the insects doing their business, uh, or that's what we we're planning at least. So rest options, uh, return to menu. You can set resolution. Uh, resolution pop down. You can choose one. Close back up. You can return to menu. A uh, quick game just ends the simulation. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Um, and then start game should open. Yep. Okay. So here we got it here. Oh yeah, and it's oops, it's laggy. That's because I've the uh, encoder, the encoder, and the streaming thing on. Okay. So anyway. 
Okay, so let's open back the better map. Tell me guys what we should do right now. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, if you search up a Fenogaster on Instagram, you'll be able to find the, ar the artist. Uh, That's his Instagram. And you'll be able to see him doing some of the graphics. Okay, so should we, uh, Northern, Ireland, should we be able to, should we be able to, um, by the way, search up the criminal guest on Instagram and you'll find some cool clean ants first. That'd be dope. Okay, Steven. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so wait, how many viewers is it, are there on the stream? So right now, I could try um, learning how to make a spawn point. Okay, yeah, people just come in without knocking, so. Okay, so a simple uh, spawning system that you can make um, is just using the player starts and then uh, use the game mode, but um, what well, I want to be able to Uh, what uh, the what we want the player to be able to do is that they can set their spawn point. So, for example, if their nest is uh, let's say let's, let's say right here, okay, right here, right, uh, and they uh, they run over there to that mountain. If they die, we want them to die right here. So we're gonna have to um. That's gonna be have to be related to the queen ant, um, because the queen is going to like make a nest, and then I th I'm pretty sure when she makes a nest, she's gonna have like the option of uh, create spawn point for workers or something. And what that does, it just creates a spawn point, and then we can get actors of class, and then every uh, player that joins will be spawned there or near that area. Can't, don't have a good. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have OBS, but I can't like play Fortnite on this Mac because it's a Mac. <laughs> Yeah, I play on console. I can make you a moderator. So what should I do? I really I don't know what to do, guys. Yeah, so there's a node called spawn just spawn uh spawn i think uh spawn actor from class yeah but uh we could do that this but then we want the, the 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 transform to be a player star. So look. Yeah, so look, okay. Yeah, that's that's gonna, we're gonna have to figure that out. So pretty much, there's nothing to do on this stream. What what should we do? We'll see when there's like nothing to test like pretty much or like tell me what to, what to do because I have nothing there's nothing to do well like what nothing we can do for now because I can try making a fit right now you're okay Okay, should I should I make should I do, try to do the aphids function? So yeah, I'm gonna try to make the aphid. So let's delete this. Let's go into our bro prints. Go to their uh, blueprint blueprint class. Um, cause there's no one's gonna be a pawn here. Let me. Okay, so um, Jonas, is are you going to be able? Are you going to be able to choose your insect as a pawn or? Uh, can only can players only uh, like use another insect to play uh, with a, uh, a aphid tell me
I can do the eating system now. Okay, so Let's try to make the eating system then. Let's open our apple. Okay, so you see we have a few things. Okay, let's drag in an apple, because why not? Apples are nice. Okay, so. Let's pray. Let's Fresh plate. Okay, so you see, there's an apple, right? Okay, wait. I, I ate it. <laughs> Wrong thing. Okay, so just to explain how the eating system is gonna go. You can choose insect when you start. All we talk. Okay, so okay, so I'll, just just tell me, should I make the the aphid or the eating system? I prefer making the aphid because uh, it's it's easier to do the eating system once we have the the two different meshes for the apple. Gonna be a character. Right, let's name. Okay, let's name this blueprint. Aphid. Boom. Bada be boom. Bam boom. Let's open the aphid. Close that app hole. Close that. Okay, so now, uh, some okay, there it is. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. No, I, I I'm gonna make the the aphid because it's it's like it's actually it's simple. I can do it for like in t like ten minutes. Okay, you just. Trust me. Okay, so the skeletal mesh. Let's make it. Let's make it a lastius nigra skeletal mesh, but let's shrink it to zero point three. Boom, bada beam, boom, bam, and there we go. You got an aphid. That's an aphid. You understand that? Okay, so there's gonna be. No, we don't. Okay, yeah. Okay, right, so let's go to the event graph. Delete all this. Uh, now we want to do something. So uh, when they walk up to the player, uh, um, sphere rage. There, there's oh no, it's not sphere collision. It was in the. Uh, okay, hold up. We need to do some some hard work, guys. Exactly. I'm like, but you, you said to do okay. Okay, so sphere overlap actors. Okay, so that's what it's called. Spherolo overlapato actors. And our actors to ignore is a fit. Okay, so we need to get a a character. Char okay, so no, it's self. We just need to ignore the self. So we get a self. Let's get a self right there. Okay, so we need to make an array. I forgot how to make an array. Yeah, so you just need to do that. Okay, okay. Let's make an array. Variables. Now, wait, how do I make an. I just need to click make array, right? Why can I make an array? Let me make an array. Okay. 
That's not gonna do it. Exactly. What you doing, boy? Delete. It's called make array, I know that. But I can't spell make, so boom boom. That goes there. This goes there. That's right. I don't need no tutorials because I'm professional. Let's read the chat. Oof, Northern Ants. Yeah. Sphere, sphere position. Uh, is that the uh, get actor location? There we go. And event tick. And then create widget. Uh, okay. After you port. Boom. This is intense coding, guys. Someone's in my yard. Okay, he's, he's, he's ran off. So let's create a a, uh, a widget. Wait, I saw a problem. Okay, yep, it crashed. How many people are watching the stream? Should I put a face cam? Let's put a face cam. Psych, I need a hundred likes on. I need a hundred likes on one of my videos and and um, to be specific I need a hundred likes uh, it's you and Steve I believe so yeah th this video just being specific not self promoting myself but if that video gets a hundred likes I'll do uh, face reveal and I'll just be able to do like other things. Okay, so what is the problem? Error. Spawn node create widget current value of object types. Okay, so yeah, I, I just have to I can copy and paste it from here to save time. See that? That's what I call save time. Make a rate. Yeah, pawn. Boom, bada, beam, boom, bam. Okay, now I just need to create a widget called user interface widget blueprint. Okay, let's call this um, uh, aphid aphid command. Boom, bada, beam. Okay, let's rename that because if you guys notice that the O is in capital. And I have O C D and I just don't like one the second letter being capital. I clicked the link and it said server cannot be found. Let me try clicking the link then. Okay, redirect redirect me. It, it it worked for me, okay. That's okay. Wait, let me open okay, so back to the editor. So AFID command and all this uh widget's gonna say is that it's going to say um a text uh just so like it's gonna say um press uh, blah 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 to do that press um press um h to to um to get get honey do oh okay yeah that was that was not cool. There we go. So, so let's just can we make that bigger? I think that's five hundred. Boom, bada beam, boom. Okay, let's make this six hundred. Six hundred. Does it not work like that? Let me make it a thousand. Oh. How about the okay? So the content. Do, can I not? Oh, it's the print. Okay, so we can change the font. Okay, let's just try to. Okay, we need to insert a font. Oh, here's the size. 
50, boom. Nice and big. Let's put that down in the bottom right. Now we need to anchor it because I'm gonna forget to anchor it. Here's a compile. Oh, we go back to the A feed. I just know screen. Okay, there we go. It's there's too much light. Hold up a second. Okay, that was the curtains. Okay, so now let's go to here. So the class it was the A feed command. Now it should be all dandy. Nice noise. So. Let's insert an aphid into the map. Uh, okay, we'll be able to tell who's an aphid because it's tiny. Okay, well, it said it's not supposed to say press H to get honeydew yet. So it's something with the aphid command. Oh, no, no. The aphid. I don't need this open. Okay, so aphid sphere pro okay let's change this to self so let's just get it self because uh, I think the sphere oh let's change this to 10 yeah I, I, I'm not so good with the uh, all the position numbers because I don't know like what the scale is like what the scale is you know so okay no it still says that where is, where is that thing come here boy It's no, it's not supposed to say it. All right, so could be that I just said add it to viewport. No, but I'm pretty sure you need to add it to viewport. Let's see, actor is to ignore. Oh, it says self. No, we don't want to ignore self. Let's do make array pawn. Can we get uh the character so Lassius? Lassius Niger. Yeah, okay, so that's not gonna work. Okay, so let this accuracy ignore. It needs to ignore self. So why did I delete it? What? Yeah, okay, I don't get it. Hey, let's. Mm, because I feel like the the problem is this because it's not supposed to be, so can we try getting like pawn location get nav a nope okay let's search location and see what we can find okay th this should work because this the mesh is still connected to So yeah, now I'm all the way back here. Okay, so yes, yeah, it's, it's not supposed to say a press H to get honeydew yet. Okay, so smaller bug. Oh yeah, but right now I'm just trying to figure out why is it saying um add to viewport. It's not it's not supposed to be on the viewport. Alright, so get world location. The sphere radius. Float. Size of sphere. Um Actor class filter. Can I can I just do this and like will that work? I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, why does it? It's, it's still. It's still okay. Wait. How about I start it here? It's 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 not supposed. Okay, so if you guys are confused, it's not supposed to. It's not supposed to. Um. It's not the the text is not supposed to be on the screen until I get close to it. This, okay, so I believe. Okay, so I think we just need to return value. So, oh yeah, no. Okay, never. Yeah, okay. So I'm I'm just dumb. Okay. Yeah. So you guys can't blame me. Branch. Yeah. 
true create method false do nothing boom i'm a genie oh wait it's not gonna work yet it's not gonna work yet connect that up connect that up boom now it's gonna work okay guys if it doesn't work i'm blaming joshua okay boom yes okay problem is it stays on the screen Can I, s I can set lifespan of wood J. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna have to make the the widget a variable. So let's call this uh a fid command. Ooh. That's a verbose name. It's like twenty meters long. Okay, so it needs to be a widget. Okay, let's just get the aphid, okay, aphid command false we can destroy actor target is aphid command okay uh, so we have to okay i'll just drag it i'll drag and drop drag and drop drag and drop dra okay it's not connectable okay, okay so it's says destroy but uh yeah it's not gonna work because it says target is actor and it's not an actor um <laughs> yeah let's get destroy destroy component can we connect this here no no we can't Okay, let's see what we can. So we can. Uh, hi. This isn't gonna work as well. So we can. Uh, we can maybe just hide it. It's still target actor. That's not gonna work. I mean, I'm just gonna try to do it, okay? I'm gonna try to do it. Cause, okay. Cause I need to. Cause if it doesn't work, then I don't know what to do. Oh, wait, I, I, I thought. Okay, now let's try this. Is anyone still watching? Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we press play. Play. Nothing's on the screen, but when we get close to an aphid, which is that tiny thing. Okay, I don't know why this the, the text popped up. Uh, okay, so yes. Yeah, so since I'm not near that small thing in front of me, the, the, it, there's no text, right? But when I get close to it, it goes boom. Pops up, right? And what I'm trying to do now is once you get away, it, like, the thing disappears. You get what I'm doing? You get what I'm doing, right? Okay, good. So. Now let's do this. So. Can we? So, hmm, we could, I don't know exactly what out actors is, but I'm, I'm hoping it's something. Oh wait, I forgot to set the lifespan. Let's set it for 10 seconds, that's right. No, it's gonna take forever. Two seconds, that's right. So after two seconds of it being on the screen, okay, so 
One, two. It should disappear. Why aren't you disappearing, boy? You have to disappear. Okay, guys. We gotta think. Okay, we can we can cast to a fit command, but uh, I don't know how that's gonna work. Uh, Cause yeah, what what? Okay. So oh, no, we need to connect this up onto here. Oh, let's delete the lifespan because well, it's not working. So wait, explain time. So updates every tick if the anything is in the radius of this sphere which is the it's invisible one then it'll branch it out and if it's true so if someone's in there it creates a, a widget which creates the text but what I'm trying to do is that if it's not it just doesn't create the text doesn't save Oh no, it doesn't show text. Boom. Magic. I hope that was a node. Okay, so, um, yeah, I'm just working on aphids right now. Uh, I think I explained it. So, uh, here it says cast to aphid command. So, I may connect this onto here and then this cast containers object. Okay, so that's a container. Uh, the object should be something like yeah, I think that should work and then we can destroy yeah but because the problem is since it's a widget uh, it just can't destroy so yeah okay so there's a problem with that because look okay so I'll, I'll give you guys a demonstration of how the the destroy Thing works let's drag this over to here oh okay well, that's weird okay, so now the target is actor component okay widget uh. oh that's funny we can just literally add a widget that's kind of annoying. Like, you know, I always go the hard way, and then I, I find out like a few seconds later. Okay, so yeah, you guys can see the problem. It's it's uh. Okay, so the problem is, it's. Where's the widget? Yep, here it is. So, problem is the things not on the screen so let's see if there's an easy way out of this and we can just tick a box saying uh cast to screen all right so uh, let's see if this works okay so why is okay there we go so everything just moved out of the way so okay this should work Let's copy this paste it here perfect let's disconnect this so we can actually test if that works okay so please work please work please work please work no it, it doesn't okay so yeah, I know. I fixed the error. Don't worry. Uh, yeah. So what I'm trying to figure out is if if there is a toggle visibility option with the the widget. A uh, blend mode uh, rendering collision presets. Local. Um, trigger custom. Oh, collision enabled. No collision. Object type, it's 
a uh it's a it's uh we can make a world dynamic here yeah. oh visibility uh no but that doesn't, i don't think that's it right, so let's see if we take that will that do something we'll find out so i'm just gonna play around with the uh the buttons a few seconds yeah so so it's still there which we want it to be on the screen Oh no, we we just don't want it to be there yet. So where was I? There was like some drop down, but where is it? Where is it? Constraints. What constraints? <sighs> What? Where did it go? I like full. I like everything just dropped down for me. Oh, is, that, is this it? Yeah, there it is. Oh, okay. I do. Okay, so. Uh, all no, this doesn't work because that's the collision preset. So that's nothing with the visibility. Manually re redraw. I figured out a something that or tests. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's try playing that. And uh, okay, no, it's still there. Okay, let's read. Uh, Jonas. Do you know the problem? So if it, or actually, what? Okay, so the what we can do just to make it easy is that we can, um, we can make it so that the. If it, no, that won't work. Okay, so that we can make the easy way is just to make it that it shows above the player. So like, for wait, for example, wait. Let me back up a bit. Okay, so for example, just say that the text under it right here. Get out of my way. Okay, so let's just say. Okay, so you see the text, right? The the white stuff. Let's say, let's say that that is above the player. Would that be fine? So like, for example, you uh you're walking up. Oh, you're like an oh an aphid. So you walk up to it, and then boom, the words pop up once you get close enough. And it's just above his head, and it says press E to uh to, to get honeydew. So you press E, and then you go boom, boom, boom. You get honeydew, and then you run away. Is that okay? I'm, I'm gonna wait for you guys to answer. Okay, so okay, so I'll, I'll I'll just do it and then we'll leave it for now and then until we figure out how we can set that we use the widget instead. Okay, so I believe we have to go to the widget command, and since it's down there, we're gonna have to make it go up here to the top. Now we're gonna have to anchor it to the center. Let's compile that. Where is that right now? I, I don't know where it is. Are you up there? Okay, it's it's just disappeared. Where did he go? Where did the aphid go? Okay, I've lost the aphid, guys. So I don't know where the, the, the text just went, so I'm going to see if I can modify it within the aphid, because that's where the uh, the widgets... Okay, wait, I just saw it. I just saw it. You can't hide it. 
No, where did he go? I saw it. Yeah, I saw it. No. I saw it. You can't. You can't. You can't say anything. I saw it. Where is it now? Where did he go? It disappeared. I think it might be because I moved it to the top of the screen. Oh, it says Geet. It says Erase 1 E. So let's just, let's just make it center screen. Let's just put it down here again because, well, that's where we were able to see it. Last time, so if it. Oh, there it is. That doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's rotate you by 90 degrees. Now let's move you by who knows how many. It only says knee. Knee do. Uh, let's say. Do I just have to like move it to the side? Okay, so, um, okay, let's just leave it like that for now. I can edit the widget off stream, but, um, yeah, so, okay, let's move it there. Isn't there supposed to be, like, some, some th thing where we can just, like, tick it, if you can see it? Okay, so that's for, that's for variables. So, like, they should have these things, like, where you can see it or you can't. Editable one interrupted. All I'm trying to figure out. Uh, okay, so what I can do is I can try to make it hidden here. So that here it's actually edit. It's actually invisible. Nope, it's still there. But it, I doubt you're able to see it in the game. Okay, let me get close to it again. Where are you at, boy? Is that it? Yeah, so that's it. Yeah, okay, so it's hidden in game. And now. Um. Aphid. Uh, so we only want it to pop up once. So, set visibility. Set visibility. T. Yeah, yeah. It's a component. Please work. If it doesn't, okay. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. I think I may have got something. Think of. Okay, never mind. Wait, what happened? Oh, okay, so. Oh, wait, I forgot to tick it. Forgot to tick the box. Call it alpha map. Uh, why, why alpha map? Okay, now. So it's gone, right? But once we get near it, it goes boom. Hey, what's up? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Wait a second, but, um. If you look in okay, look in the top right, you'll see the uh, the uh, actors in the game. So if I get close to it, wait a second, look. So I'll start out here. Okay, so something changed last time. Wait. Never mind then. Okay, so I I just realized as I was doing this that this can be visible because you won't actually see it until you get close enough. So like, you know. Never mind then. Okay. Wait, it just said delete actor. Okay. I only want to see you if I s come close to you. Uh. 
Okay, Jonas, can you leave the stream and then work on the work on the uh, the uh, walking animation? I'm probably gonna end the stream right now though, cause like it's been one hour, and I I can work better off the stream. Alrighty guys, um, that's it for the stream. In the next stream, I should have the the widget and all that sorted out, and then I should be able to add the functionality, uh, like the once you you press E, you actually make it that it gives you honeydew. So um, yeah, so I'll see 